Buenos días, clase de español. This is Senor Irvin, and this is some quick notes on la ropa and how to use uh, nouns and adjectives together in español uh, correctly. So the first thing that we're going to do is talk real quickly about gender and number. We've had this conversation before, but basically, in español, everything has a gender, so everything is either male or female, uh, represented by the article el for masculine and la for feminine. And if it's plural, it would go from la to las and el to los. And the reason why this is important is because in Espanol also, not only does everything have gender, but those things that include gender and number, so if it's singular or if it's plural, affect the adjectives that go with it. So for example, right here, we have either a skirt, la falda, or vestido, one of the two is right here. And so we're going to use that as our example because la falda is feminine and el vestido is masculine. So what if we wanted to now use an adjective? Okay, so we're going to use an adjective. We're going to use the adjective anaranjado, which means orange. You should make sure that you're familiar with all 11 colors in Espanol. Those are uh, vocab from Pat the last semester, so make sure you're familiar with those. So we have anaranjado, which means orange. So now we're going to change this, and we're going to say the orange skirt. So we're going to start off with la falda, and when it goes in this order, in English it goes the orange and then skirt. In Espanol, we're saying actually the skirt and then the word orange goes afterwards. So we're going to go ahead and write the word anaranjado. And if you remember anything about this, these, this, because it is feminine and because it is singular, must match that. So this word ended in O, anaranjado, but now we got to go la falda and then we have to end this in anaranjada if that makes any sense. Everything that the adjective must match the noun and must match the number of, of the noun, uh, if it's singular or if it's plural. Let's do it down here with el vestido, which means dress. So let's just do el vestido, and that's just going to stay at el vestido anaranjado. So that's easy enough. So this is an adjective, anaranjado. It could be any type of adjective. It doesn't have to be a color. It could be describing uh, whether it's cheap or expensive or whatever it might be, but it always must match. And that's actually what this lesson is about. So let's try a few more. So we had uh, the song La Camisa Negra. So we're going to do that right now with the word negro, which means black. So we're going to go La Camisa. And let me just up here, I'm just going to identify that the word negro means black. And it is an adjective, so it must change to fit the nouns as it's represented here. So we've got la camisa, and we know, like in the song, it was la camisa negra, not la camisa negro. If it was more than one thing, like chaquetas here, as in we have jackets, the black jackets, we would make sure that it matches, as it does here, las chaquetas, and the word would turn into negras. If it is masculine, we can tell it's masculine because it begins with the word el here. It's el traje, the suit, and it's also black, negro. What about shoes? Los zapatos. And if you guessed negros, you're exactly right. So the main theme as far as this lesson goes is that we must make sure to check what gender is it. Is it me uh, female or is it male? El en la. And what's the number? Is it one thing or is it plural? Is it singular or is it plural? So this is singular and that is plural, singular and plural. And your adjectives then must match those things. Bueno, take those notes, submit it on Schoology. Adios, hasta la vista.